is not made for a uh, windy day, I'll be honest. Grip lock and that's it then. Me lock? You got me lock? Yeah, me lock on there. Studs, yeah. So yeah, so we have to make sure everything's prepared, the players can come in, they can be relaxed. But the whole thing is about teamwork. So, and then to, to go the full circle of it, we have the day, we start at eight o'clock in the morning, the full game, time we pack up and head down the M6 uh, all the way back home. As soon as the gear's back here, John Boy's here to pick that all up, to work sort of sometimes through the night. I think he worked till two or three in the morning last week. Uh, it's a complete conveyor belt. Um, Belinda, our laundry lady, also is a very key part of our operations. And really it's non-stop. And I think the best thing I can say is the bit at the end when the changing room looks good and we've got a lot of pride in that, it's all the hard work that goes in beforehand. So the 20, 30 hours, etc., that goes into putting any match kit together, that's where the hard work is done on the match day, just making sure everything goes off smoothly is the end result of that. But definitely we're, a, we're very much a teamwork. And I say support staff and other people all chip in and help doing little bits and pieces at times. Um, but it's key. But this, this is 90% 90, 90 preparation um, to make sure that nothing does go wrong. Yeah. The only thing once I, I did get on the bus and got all the way nearly to Aston Villa and wasn't 100% sure the boots were on the bus. They were, so it was okay. But I just sat quiet and just prayed really. And, uh, <laughs> It was right, only because someone had moved them from where I was put them. I had my routine, and just yes, because there's that nothing was different, worse than that, is there? Something yeah, in my mind, I felt that maybe they hadn't gone on, and I thought I might be having a quick trip to Sports Direct to buy 20 pairs of boots, but thankfully not. So. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, just while we're on the mistakes, John Boy once packed two left feet for Alex Tetty when we played Bournemouth. So uh, luckily we spotted it in time so that at least we uh, could rectify it. Otherwise that might have had a few uh, issues for his performance. But I'll tell you that on the sly because he'll probably not admit to that. So uh, there's one for the secrets. Um, so basically, training ground done, another week training done. Um, now on the way to Carrow Road to do the final bit to set up for the game tomorrow. restrictions of COVID etc at the moment we've only got 11 in this dressing room two in the showers and the other guys are in the little interview rooms um, 
this is obviously not the team. We're just speculating or trying to surmise what we think it might be or might not be. But um, there'll definitely be a couple of changes probably to what we've laid out. But it's just a question of trying to do that as much as you can today to make tomorrow um, as good as I can. The other thing we do, sports science, obviously prepare all the supplements, etc. Um, but we set it all up and make it nice and neat. Doesn't last too long, obviously, once the players come in. But um, presentation thing, I think, is pretty important. So we spend a fair bit of time making sure it looks as good as it can. A um, little bit of OCD in there, but. Uh, as I say, there's all sorts of bits and pieces now that they have before the game. And, uh, yeah, we try to provide everything for them that the sports sciences have given us. Um, so everyone, it's an empty one, can get what they need before the game. Walk-out jackets, well, like the jumpers and hurt the minute, obviously, because it's been a bit warm and not needed them so much. But little pe bits and pieces. Uh, this one. So like just spare stuff, get you for Brazen. Remember we played White Hull, Pete? Yeah. We wore the white, we wore a white kit. Um, and literally everybody changed socks, shorts, and literally everything. So you need to uh, be prepared for every eventuality in that, like weather, snow, every, every eventuality. 